Hey there, I'm back for the next album review um, of this band. So, so um, today I'm going to be talking about Humble Pie's fourth studio album, Rock On. Um, so this album here is a hard rock and blues rock album. Um, compared to the other one, it was kind of like, what, three styles, I said? Um, so this was more... You can definitely tell the blues, definitely has the blues, definitely in this album. And you can definitely hear the hard rock. Um, two great um, genres of music that I do like. And um, put them all together on this album and it's just unbelievable. Amazing, amazing craziness. <laughs> um, so um, this album here would be... The last album with uh, Peter Frampton on it um, after you know he left the band. Um, so this is the very last one with him on it before he went solo. Started doing you know his solo um, albums in '72 uh, was when his first one came out. So when he started doing his solo, um, so um, this album was released on March of 1971. Um, so on this album, Bobby Keys, who played with the Rolling Stones, which I've done so many album views of the Stones, like it's only rock and roll, uh, album review, that one I did, um, Some Girls, um, Goat's Head Soup, Sticky Fingers, Exile on Main Street, Tattoo You, album review, oh man, the list goes on and on. So I did all the studio albums all the way to um, their 1967 album, um, their Satanic Majesty's Re Request, which was a psychedelic kind of style of music, all the way till, um, I would say, Bridges to Babylon, that album. So I did all the studio albums. Oh, and plus I did a live, yeah, two live, couple live ones as well, like um, Get Your Yeah Yeahs Out, that album review, as well as um, Love You Live, that album, so many, keeps going on, Black and Blue, you name it. Anyways, going back to this album, so yeah, Bobby Keys played uh, saxophone on this album, um, so yeah, he did play with quite a few different, like, I know he played with the Stones, oh geez, I'm trying to think what other band he played with, I did an album review, I think, before, I can't remember what band it was, and he played sax, saxophone on that band, it's just, played with so many different artists, so many bands, it's just crazy, anyways, um, so I said, yeah, it was released on March of 1971, so the songs on the album include Shine On, um, which Peter Frampton um, sings vocals on that song. Um, but a um, great, great song. And that song is, you know, really, really good. Um, and that does a 2 minute and 40 second song, Sour Grain, 79th and Sunset, Stone Cold Fever, which is this crazy like a blues definitely you can hear the blues because in this I think it's that one yeah because um that one I think Steve Mary plays the uh harmonica you can hear that quite a bit in this I think in this album um great 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 song um and then that says a six minute song Rolling Stone um so, um, so if you listen to this song, um, because this came out, you know, 71, right? And you listen to a song, um, by Foghat, My Babe. You ever heard that song? You never heard this song. Um, I think Foghat, you know, that song, you know, Foghat, when they go into that do, 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 you know, they're starting to sing like, you know, that, that riff that you hear, right? Um, in this song, Rolling Stone, I think in the middle, there's the middle of it, um, because there is a, a, a video, I think a music, or not a video, um, 
yeah, video of them performing Rolling Stone. I think it was like 71, whatever. And this was kind of like the last time, you know, because Peter Frampton, like I said, was with them in this video. And uh, But um, when you hear that riff, that do-do-do, and you're familiar with Foghat, right? And you know, like, lots of the music. Um, definitely can hear the similarity between that song and, you know, My Babe, that song. Um, which, I don't know, Foghat probably listened to Humble Pie before, and they thought, you know, because it sounded s s similar. Because Foghat, my babe, like, I, I I knew that song before, before I listened to this band, right? And I listened to Stone Cold, listened to Rolling Stone, that song. And I'm going, wait a minute, that sounds very, very familiar. Um, but, great, great song. Um, because they sound quite similar. Um, so if you check out, you know, Stone Cold, or, uh, Rolling Stone, by uh, Humble Pie, you listen to that song, Rolling Stone, and then you listen to Foghat, My Babe, um, then you can tell the, the uh, similarities between those two songs, but two great songs. And after that is a 2 minute and 35 second song, a song for Jenny, The Light, um, another great song, all the songs on the album were great, then uh, Big George, that's a great song, because on that song, I believe, that's a great, great song, because I think um might be Greg Ridley, maybe, I think, sang vocals. I um, think so. Because Steve Marriott didn't, and um, Peter Frampton did. After that, a six minute and 36 second song, Strange Days, and last is Red Neck Jump which is kind of this bluesy kind of rock tune. Great, great song. Um, so make sure to check out Humble Pie album review, which I done not long ago. Um, so make sure to check that one out. Um, and um, hope you really, really like it. Um, the album reviews of this band um, decided to do um, just like that, right? Thinking of a band, I thought of a band in my head, what to do next. I thought, Oh, see, I know so many bands, it's crazy, you know. Um, so I'll go through the songs again. There's Shine On, the 2 minute and 40 second song, Sour Grain, 79th and Sunset, Stone Cold Fever, the 6 minute song, Rolling Stone. And like I said, for that song, make sure, you know, check that song out. And obviously, if you know that song or if you don't, Listen to Foghat, My Babe, and you listen to that song, and then listen to Rolling Stone by, um, by Humble Pie, you can tell, you, you listen to it, and you can tell the similarities between those two songs. So if you do that, and you watch this video, come back if you, um, you want to, come back and comment down below, and tell me the similarities, what you hear, if it sounds similar. Interesting to find out what you people think of it, you know. It would be interesting to find out. Uh, comment down below. Um, or even if you heard the song. Comment down below. Um, anyways, after that song is A Song for Jenny, The Light, Big George, The 6 minute and 36 second song, Strange Days, and last is Red Neck Jump. Make sure to check out Humble Pie album reviews, as well as Chicago Transit Authority, their debut album, Chicago 2 album review, Chicago 3 album review, Chicago 5. So I did so many of Chicago's from 1969 all the way to 79. Ten years, and they had 11 studio albums, so check that out. So um, thank you for watching. Hit a thumbs up, and I hope you liked it so far. And uh, Bye.